Believe it or not, but the question of when is the best time to take a probiotic supplement, specifically whether you should take it with or without food, is very controversial. Everyone seems to have a different opinion. In fact, if you look at the labels of different probiotic supplements out there, you'll find a variety of conflicting recommendations. And as this study noted, this has led to serious confusion for the industry and the consumer. So to put this debate to bed once and for all, I got together with our research team at Essential Stacks. We dug through every study that's ever been done on probiotic timing, and there are a lot of studies. But the good news for you, finally, we'll have a very straightforward recommendation based on actual research as opposed to someone's gut feeling. Let's go. So let's quickly look at how our body and probiotics work together. The first thing we need to realize is that probiotics, which are the good bacteria, are most helpful when they reach our intestines. And that makes sense. After all, this is where most of our existing good bacteria lives. We call this our microbiome. Now to get there alive and well, probiotics need to navigate some dangerous territory. First, they have to make it through your highly acidic stomach, which is filled with acid that helps digest your food but it can also harm bacteria, both the good and bad kinds. Then they have to go up against enzymes, bile acids, and even the physical churning of your stomach, all of which can hurt them as well. So as you can see, your probiotics are kind of like Frodo and Sam in Lord of the Rings, bravely marching through Mordor and being attacked by everyone from orcs to witch kings and even Sauron. So the question becomes, how can we protect our little hobbits? <laughs> I mean probiotics. And specifically, will taking them with or without food help them survive best? Now, initially, you might think taking them without food will help most. After all, if you're not eating, there won't be as much stomach acid in your stomach. But here's the thing, while the volume of stomach acid will be at its lowest when you're not eating, the acid that remains will be at its strongest. Based on studies, we can see that when we are fasting, our stomach acidity drops to a pH less than three. And given this pH level can range from 0.3 to three, it is a very acidic. And just a side note here, low pH means high acidity and high pH means low acidity. By contrast, when we eat food, while the volume of stomach acid is much higher, the pH is also higher with a range from 4.5 to 5.8, meaning although there is more stomach acid, it is less acidic. So with all this in mind, one might reasonably change their mind. And now start to think taking probiotics with foods will offer more protection. But what do the actual studies say? Well, in a 2011 study done in beautiful Quebec, Canada, which we believe is the most helpful study of all the studies we've seen on probiotic timing, researchers actually went and built a model of the human digestive system. They called it the IVIDIS model. <laughs> I think they watched a lot of Star Wars in their time. <laughs> Anyways, so they filled it with acid, bile fluids, and all the components needed to mimic our actual GI tract. Then they fed it probiotics. And of course, they did this with and without food. Here's what they found. Survival of all the bacteria in the product was best when given with a meal or 30 minutes before a meal. And by contrast, they found probiotics given 30 minutes after the meal did not survive in high numbers. Interesting, right? So based on these results, we can start to see that taking your probiotics just before you sit down to eat your meal or just as you start eating your meal is probably best. Now the story doesn't finish there. It turns out the researchers also experimented with feeding the model GI tract different types of food. They wanted to see whether the protein, carb, or fat content of different foods added any protection for the probiotics. And here's what they found. Survival in milk with 1% milk fat and oatmeal milk gruel were significantly better, which led them to conclude bacterial probiotic products should be taken with or just prior to a meal containing some fats. So with all of this in mind, you're probably thinking that you need to be vigilant and really make sure that you take your probiotic supplements at the right time and with a meal or beverage that contains some fats. But is all of this really necessary? And isn't there a smarter way to make probiotic supplements? 
Well, here's the thing. If you really dig closely into the study, you'll find this important point. The bacteria in the product are not microencapsulated, nor is the capsule enteric coated, which would render the capsules impermeable to the gastric acid. And when the researchers say impermeable, they basically mean the acid would not be able to break through the capsule and impact the probiotics. And so this brings up a huge point. If you are taking a probiotic supplement that does use microencapsulation and enteric coating, which is a type of protective barrier that goes over the capsule, then timing doesn't matter so much. Instead, since your probiotic superheroes are protected, like many astronauts in a space shuttle, you can take them at any time. Not only do you not need to worry about whether there is fat in your meal, you don't even need to worry if you take them with a meal at all. So if you want to find a probiotic supplement that comes in a protective capsule like this, all you need to do is check the label for terms like enteric coated capsules, delayed release capsules or DR capsules for short, or even time delayed capsules. For example, here at Essential Stacks, we make smart probiotic. It's a 50 billion CFU probiotic. And since we love the 11 strains of good bacteria in it, and I wanna make sure they make it down into your intestines alive and well, you'll see on the front of the label, delayed release capsules. Now, just before we finish this video, if you've tried our probiotics before, you might notice we also make another probiotic called Pure S. Bilardi. And if you look on the label, you won't find any mention of delayed release capsules. So why is that? Well, unlike most probiotic strains, Saccharomyces boulardii can survive and pass through your GI tract fine without any protection, which is pretty amazing. It's kind of like Frodo surviving Mordor without Sam. In fact, if we look at the 2011 study from Quebec again, here's what they said about S. boulardii. S. Bilardi was pretty much less affected by pH and survived in any situation. And if we look at the table from the study, we can see the survival rate of S. Bilardi staying pretty much constant, no matter what is thrown at it. So to wrap everything up, although most probiotics should come in delayed release capsules to help them survive and make it to your intestines alive and well, some probiotic strains like S. Bilardi can get there by themselves and don't need any special encapsulation. Now you might be starting to think picking the best probiotic supplement is a bit of a challenge, but don't worry because our research team has got your back. So if you want to learn more about how to choose the right probiotic supplement for you, then check out our free buyer's guide to probiotics. Link in the description below. Importantly, we don't just talk about the probiotics we make, but instead we look at all the different probiotics out there. And that's really crucial for you since many of the probiotics other companies make may better suit you depending on your health goals. Now we want to hear from you. What is your favorite probiotic supplement? Feel free to mention any companies in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think. If you enjoy this video as part of our probiotic series, then hit the like and subscribe button to make sure you never miss another video. Our team of dietitians and doctors here at Essential Stacks are so excited to continue researching which foods and supplements help your gut health. That way you can save hundreds of hours of trial and error and focus on what's best for your digestive health. Thanks for watching and see you in the comments. Bye for now.